free. She'll make you free. She'll make you free. As I look back over my life, it's full of surprises. I never thought I would become friends with people in different countries all over the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I want us to look at the cross tonight. I see how God's hand guided me. When I began preaching many years ago, it was not with any thoughts that I'd be preaching to large audiences. Come to the cross! His gospel is for everyone! God has done this. Christ is alive! Modern America today, there is a vacuum of the soul. Our country is in great need of a spiritual awakening. Well, there have been times that I've wept as I've gone from city to city and I've seen how far people have wandered from God. Of all the things that I've seen and heard, there's only one message that can change people's lives and hearts. There is a way if you come by the way of the cross. The cross, the cross. I want to tell people about the meaning of the cross. Not the cross that hangs on a wall or around someone's neck. We receive our freedom purchased by the ransom at the cross but the real cross of Christ. The cross expresses the great love of God for man. It's scarred and blood-stained. His was a rugged cross. His real purpose for coming was to die. I know that many will react to this message, but it is the truth. And with all my heart, I want to leave you with the truth. God says, I love you. I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. That he loves you willing to forgive you of all your sins. On our churches, we have a cross. It's embossed on our Bibles. I thought the cross was a relic. It was a medallion on a necklace at best. It's an ornament that we wear around our necks, Christians and non-Christians. The cross really didn't have any meaning to me except for something artistic that rock stars wore. But talk about the depth and the real meaning of the cross, and it becomes an offense. Why is that? The cross is offensive because it confronts people. Even so, it's a confrontation that all of us must face.